love lives here. All right. <clears throat> so here at Centers for Spiritual Living Worldwide, this year we are working with a theme of Timeless Wisdom Evolutionary Vision. And this month, the month of a April, the <laughs> month... <laughs> So, yeah, that's so next year or so like last year. Um, in the month of August, we are working with the theme, A Pause for Guidance. Clearly, it's time to pause for guidance. So we are working with the theme of A Pause for Guidance. So um, last year, uh, when the Global Themes team and I were working on, when we were visioning for the themes for the 2021 year and when we were planning them and everything, when we were doing that, and as it has been for the past three years that I've been on this particular team and leading this team for Centers for Spiritual Living Worldwide, we had no idea what it would look like in August of 2021, last summer, when we were visioning and catching the high idea for the themes for this year. We had no idea what that may or may not look like. Good morning, Christine. Great to see you. We had no idea what that would look like, right? But Spirit did, and Spirit guided us to choose the theme for this month of pause, take a pause for guidance, a pause for guidance. You see, the theme overall, there was this underlying, in the visioning, there was this underlying sense of that we're all on this collective journey, that we're on this journey of unfoldment that is forever spiraling upwards, and this was part of the vision last year, that's forever spir spiraling upwards, and as we come back around the spiral, we we like raise up just a little bit and then we kind of circle back around and then, you know, we see things from another perspective. And so it was, as we were looking at this journey, if you will, we were seeing this month as like taking a pause here. If you're taking a road trip, right? Um, like the kind that uh, Denise and Earl have been on that you might want to like at some point, you know, take a rest, pull off to the side at a rest stop. If you're on a, a road trip, you want to pull off to the side and, you know, take a little rest stop there. Maybe um, get a little refreshment, a little recalibration, kind of see where you're at, see where you've been, where you might be headed next. And um, maybe even, oh, I don't know, ask somebody for directions, right? Um, and so we were looking at that as kind of the metaphor for this month. And here we are in August of 2021. And we've been on a journey, yes, for the past ooh, 18 months or so, 17 or 18 months. We've been on this journey of unfoldment. We've been on this crazy ride that, that feels like the Mad Hatter some days, right? Um, but we've been on this journey and just this week, as I just mentioned, we're wearing masks again inside. And so we're um, once again uh, finding ourselves in a different place, in a different position, in a different time, in a different way, and having to navigate something new again that feels old, but yet it's new, right? That's why we talked about when we opened here at Riverside, that we were opening a new, we weren't going back to an old way of doing things because the old way is old and the old way is in the past. One of the things of, about this whole time frame is that there has been an opportunity and there continues to be an opportunity to, to let go of those things that no longer serve us, to let go of those things that um, perhaps should have been let go of a long time ago, and also to begin embracing new ways of being, new ways of being together, new innovative ideas of what community might look like, new innovative ideas of the way we interact with one another. So we have had technological advances. We've had all kinds of um, creativity in how we come together in community, whether it be in a community setting like the one that we're in with a religious organization or whether it be school or work or what have you and or 
connecting with friends and family and playing Yahtzee on Zoom or what have you, right? That there's been all these different ways. And so in many ways, the globe feels much more connected than it did before. At the same time, it doesn't feel as connected as it did before. And so we have this opportunity to continue to learn. We have this opportunity to continue to grow. We have this opportunity to reassess what our values are. Reassess what our priorities are. Reassess how we're going to show up in the world. Reassess what's ours to do. And to really turn within and to go inward and listen. Listen deeply. That we have the opportunity here once again in August to take a moment, a month, to pause for guidance. To listen and to make ourselves available to what spirit would have us know, to what the universe would, ha- would share with us, to what is wanting to unfold through us and as us. This past year, I would say, I don't know about you, but it's felt very uncertain. There's been a lot of uncertainty, yes? Yeah. There's been a lot of uncertainty, and what we're kind of looking for, what I noticed that we're kind of experiencing and looking for is we're looking for some stability. We're looking for something concrete. We're looking for, oh, God, please just make a decision and stick with it, right? Can we please just agree on something and do it, right? And there's this uncertainty that has been carrying with us, and it as we can't, you know, our, our personalities that want to control things, that want to control our lives, that are looking for that stability, they're searching for that stability, we're having a hard time finding it. We're having to be in response or, you know, even in reaction to this little bug, right? And what we're looking for is some sort of stability. We just like, ah. Oh. But what I've discovered, what we're doing, is we're looking in the wrong place. Many of us have been looking in the wrong place. We've been looking for stability out there. We've been looking for answers out there. Somebody, please tell me what to do. Somebody, please make a decision and I will gladly follow it. Somebody, please tell me when this will all be over. Somebody, please tell me what it's going to look like when it is. Somebody, please tell me. Somebody, please just make it so that we can have one week, one week that feels normal. Right? But that's searching outside. We're looking for stability. We're looking for something outside. We're looking to the effect. We're looking to those things outside of ourselves to give us the answer or to provide the stability. So we're seeking a miss, my beloveds. We've been seeking a miss. And so this week's title, I just love. <laughs> How Spirit Works last year and this year. This week's title is It's Time for a Tune-Up. Just like your car, right? Your air pressure a little low in your tires? When's the last time you had your oil changed? Has your check engine light come on? Right? So we have the opportunity today in this moment here and now to tune up. It's time for a tune-up. It's time to stop seeking out there and remember to recall, like, where are the answers at, my beloveds? Where are the answers? Within. Where's the stability? 
within. The stability is within, and knowing spirit is all that there is. Spirit, the divine, is all that there is. That who I am, I am remembering who I am, the I am that I am. That spirit is that. That we are called, we are invited to tune ourselves up and remember that the stability that we seek, the certainty that we seek, the comfort that we seek is within. It's the only place we can get it. We're not going to find it out there. We have to find it in here first. And so the tune-up piece comes in. Aside from those of you who are here this morning for meditation, when was the last time we meditated? When is the last time that you sat in quiet meditation? When is the last time we turned to prayer aside from last Sunday? When's the last time that you spoke a spiritual mind treatment, an affirmative prayer for yourself? When is the last time that we visioned or you visioned for yourself or with another? When's the last time you went to a practitioner and said, you know, I'm struggling right now to see the truth, and I could really use some assistance. I could really use you to see the truth. I, could really, I would really appreciate it if you would see the truth and know the truth with me and for me. When is the last time we participated in meditation during the week or prayer during the week? This is an opportunity, my beloveds, as we are moving through this together. And it's not just me, it's not just us, but there is this collective that many are experiencing. Like, we're tired. Who's tired? Okay. We're tired. Not sick and tired, we're just tired. Kind of being on that wheel, right? Needing a break, taking a moment and thinking and reassessing. It's like, okay, so is this serving me? Is what I'm doing serving me? Is my, are my thoughts serving me? Are the ideas serving me? Is whatever it is that I'm doing mine to do? There's all these questions that are currently up in our society. And Shawnee's meditation this morning on Lamas or um, Lunasa was so beautiful. It tapped into that, that that is one of the pagan festivals. It's the first of three pagan festivals that talks about harvest and assessing what it is, what we've grown so far, what seeds we've planted so far, and what's grown so far, and begin reaping, begin assessing, begin assessing, and then begin gathering what we have sown so far. And so how beautiful it is that that falls on this day as well, that this is an opportunity to really look and see, okay, so here's where I'm at, Here's the situation. Here's where we are together as a community, as society. Here we are. So we have this opportunity to assess, to reassess, to become curious, to ask questions. And it's okay to have more questions than answers. That's perfectly great. Because then where do we take those questions? We take those questions within. And we remember who we are and we surrender those questions and we sit in the silence and we ask and we listen and we allow spirit to speak. We allow spirit to reveal the answers. And in so doing, we find greater stability we find greater comfort. We find that, oh, all right, today, this is what I'm called to do. This is what I'm called to be. This is how I'm called to show up. In this 
moment. This is what's being asked of me. And I can say yes to it because it's not me that's doing it. It is the spirit within that is performing the work that's been given me to do. Because we're returning to spirit. We're returning to source. Seeking God first and all things are added. Seeking spirit first. And the answers come. So it's time for a tune-up. Are you ready for a tune-up? Yes? All right. So let's turn together and let's do some meditation this morning together. Let's get ourselves meditated. Not just medicated, but meditated. All right? All right. So I invite you to go ahead and turn within. And my beloveds online, I invite you to do the same. Go ahead and turn within. I invite you, if you're comfortable, to go ahead and allow your eyes to close. And just simply bring your attention and your awareness to your breath. There's no need to change it. You're just observing your breath, just allowing it to be. Feel the rise and fall of the breath. Feel how it fills your lungs, fills your belly. How it is expanding. And how your body rests as it exhales. And it's not really an expansion and a contraction as much as it is an expansion and a resting. A pause. A resettling. A reorganizing. And as you're noticing your breath, notice that you don't have to concentrate on breathing. You're not having to make your breathing happen. That in fact, you are being breathed. Life itself. Spirit itself is breathing you. You don't have to say, hey, God, breathe me. It just does. This is an example of the ever-givingness of life, the ever-givingness of God to its beloved creation. And the ever-givingness of God is synonymous with love. Notice that your breath is not being withheld from you, and neither is love. This love is unconditional. It's ever giving. In the beginning, love. Now, love. Always and forevermore, love. Feel the rise and fall. The 
in-breath, the out-breath. This is the rhythm of life. divine harmony. Divine order. Absolute perfection. This is the certainty that we seek. This is the stability that we seek. It's right here. ever present. Ever available. just takes a moment. To bring ourselves into alignment. To attune to it. to give ourselves a spiritual tune up. Bring your awareness back to your breath. On the next inhale and exhale, I invite you to give thanks. Give thanks for life. Give thanks for love. Give thanks for the equanimity, the peace the certainty of spirit. Trusting and knowing that 
regardless of the question. Spirit is and has the answer. And so breathing in again, I invite you to take a nice deep breath, a deep presencing breath. Feel the breath all the way down to the tips of your toes. Feel it expand throughout your entire body temple. Stretch and move as you need to. And then a nice deep exhalation, great big exhalation. And I invite you to presence yourself back here in this time and space or there online, wherever you are in this time and space. Love.